Hi guys, it's f 11 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a logo, for example, um, like this, with a gradient, and then a big logo, like this, um, with 3D effects. Uh, you might have seen last week um, a, a video a few days ago on how to make 3D pictures, but this is similar to it, but... We're making logos today, so what you need to do, you need to get up Draw Plus X2 Graphic Studio, which is quite handy. It's got um, stop frame animations and things like that in it. And you just have to wait for a bit to let it load up to. Let's leave that. And then you want to start a new drawing, landscape, A3 or A4, I don't mind what you choose. But you have to have these two or it won't exactly work. So you need to go to your quick rectangle, just drag a small rectangle and have it black. You could have it red if you wanted to, but I prefer black because you can see everything a lot easier. So you're going to go to your text, any font you like. So, and bold. And then you're going to press Ctrl and A and just click red or whatever colour you like I, I'm going to choose red today and then you're going to go right click instant 3D and now it's going to be 3D and you can do whatever you want to like rotate it and things like that but have it so you can actually see the text like that um, and then you're going to go to fill and then you're just going to drag the rectangle don't worry because the text hasn't disappeared it's just gone because you're editing the uh, gradient. So you just put any custom gradient you want. So I'm going to have it like that. And then, as you can see now, it looks kind of three. It looks sort of like it's the sort of effect you get from Cinema 4D. But it's a, I, I, I think it's a lot better, to be honest. And then, basically, you're going to leave that there. And then you're going to maybe if you want to expand this to make it a little bit bigger. And then make sure the text is in the grey zone because it doesn't look right if it's up there. It, you want to make it look like it's sitting down on the grey slash white patch. And then you're going to want to select that and just click group selected item. So it's a piece of the puzzle. Just click it and now when you drag it along it doesn't all disappear. So that's your logo that you you can have, and then you're going to go back to your um, square. Well, before you even do that, you want to export this. So export as image, export, and then choose where you want it. So I'm just going to get rid of this now because I don't want it. And then to make your big logo, you're going to want to select the bit of the a quick rectangle rectangle and inside the blue line so it's going to come up with the same gradient click fill again and then you can drag it along whatever and then I'm going to choose red here and then I think this should work probably no it hasn't but anyway you can still do what you want um I'm just gonna move this about a bit so it is that if if it flashes that's all right it doesn't matter and then I'm going to put my text here, so let's say this is a business card because it's not going out to be a big logo. So, and then if text doesn't work, just click mouse pointer, click off it, so click on the light blue patch and then click text again and drag. And then I'm going to put AF11 with a full stop, red, purple in fact. Then I'm going to go instant 3D. And then I'm going to right click again to go filter effects. Then here I can use effects to uh, make it look better. So I'm going to use outer glow. And then it's going to. You can just customize the sliders how you want it, really. It doesn't really matter what you choose. And then sometimes it can just like freeze up for a second, but that's fine. And then you can different. Outer glows and inner glows, just let it hurry up and work. It's crashed again. Just, just wait for it to do what it needs to do. And then you're going to go to inner glow and make sure that you've actually used has a tick next to it. Then you're going to click color again and you're going to click whatever color you want. So I'm going to click red. 
and then just click OK. Wait for it to render. Now that doesn't look as good as I wanted it to look, but it doesn't exactly matter really, because this isn't the, the real one. But it looks a bit frizzy, so uh, just go back to filter effects. Um, and then do what you need to do. You've got 3D effects and things like that in blend, blend mode, normal. And just if you want, just click normal, because I think that might be the problem. I want normal. And just click OK again, and then let the image on the screen render again. And as you can see, it's a nice soft glow now. But you can make it a lot deeper if you just go back to it. And then you can get your mouse again and just click it and move it over maybe. And then get your text again and then go wherever you want. So partnered with maybe. Or whatever so and then that's how you do the basic glow and inner glow on a in serif draw plus x2 um and then you just do what you did for your first one which is um export this image and then choose where you want it and just and it'll uh pardon me uh save it there so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe i'll see you later